three. Hey, this is Keith. I run Keith Trim Art, which started off as an art site, but turned into a writing site. I'm holding a class today, a master class, master class on writing. Why would I do that? Because I am a master writer. That's not true at all. Uh, I'm a, pretty much a hack writer, but I've done a lot of fan fiction on this channel. I've written 20 full length novels. They're all online. I'm, I might put a link to them for you, but maybe not. I don't, haven't decided yet. But I want to talk about my writing a little bit, um, what my process is. Um, had a gentleman the other day ask a question of what am I doing on this page because I, I only seem to put snippets of stories on here. And there's a good reason for that. It's because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to write the whole thing. Um, if, if I'm doing four or five pages, it's a lot of work to, well, it's not a lot of work to write it. It's a lot of work to, mem not memorize it, but to, to work on the script and kind of perform it. That's the hard part for me. Writing is easy. I can write these things pretty quick, edit, edit them up real quick. So here's some tips I'm going to give you on writing tips. Uh, first thing, first thing I do whenever I write is I start off with uh, a grenade. Uh, I get you from the very get-go, the very first line. I'm going to hook you right there, hook, hook, hook. I've done a lot of reading on writing, including that Stephen King book. Oh my God, I got like birds attacking each other here. And um, the point is you start off big, fast, you hook them, then you throw another problem, you throw another problem, you throw another problem, and it keeps the story rolling. It's, it's what's it's called a page turner. Page turner keeps them going, keeps them interested. Um, I've read some stuff from people who like a nice slow burn uh, kind of story where it starts slow and builds up, and I think that's garbage. I would never, ever, ever put you through that. Um, the whole point of what I do is to get you started at the beginning, hook you, keep you going. Because on the YouTube, the, the, the watch time is everything, and I want you to stay there the whole time. If I'm doing a three-page script, five-page script, six-page, the longer I keep you, the better it is for me. So I have to keep you going on this page and keep you going. And for the most part, most of the, pe the people who watch this stuff stick with it till the end. I have about 30% uh, retention, which is normal for most of my videos. If you, they, they, give, they give you a retention graph, and I'm always right in the middle, so I'm, I'm doing it right. I'm actually surprised that people will sit there and watch me read this stuff. And I try to do some good acting. I'm not an actor. I don't claim to be an actor. But I, I, it's more like a, a, a script reading or a monologue or a one-act play. I have friends who are theater, for, theater people, and they, that's what they do. That's not what I do. But I try my best to make this stuff come to life and, and not make it too boring. I, I want to make my story writing interesting. I want to make my, make my inflections interesting. And uh, I think I do an adequate job. I'm an adequate actor. I think I'm a decent writer. I really do. I, I, I read my own stuff. You know, I, I got lots of books out there all over the internet, all over. It's all under a pen name, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't, I don't want you to look, looking it up. So I don't know if I'm even going to put a link on here. Because some of the stuff I have, most of it's pretty tame, but I got some stuff that's kind of risque, and I don't want people knowing who I am and what I'm writing because uh, kind of due to what my job I have. But anyway, uh, point is, is uh, when you're writing, uh, look, look, I got a squirrel right there. Anyway, get them hooked, keep them going. Uh, another thing I do, there's two kinds of writing styles. I guess my neighbors out there uh, mowing his lawn or something. Um, there's plotters, and I can't remember the other kind of, kind of kind. I'm the kind of writer I will write and keep going based off of what I'm writing. I don't, I don't make an outline and, and connect them. That's not my style. I never know the ending of my story until it's until it's done. That way it allows me to go here, 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 wherever the story takes me. And it feels more natural that way. So you do it the way you want. Writing is one of those things. You can do whatever you want. You know, um, I get lots of five-star reviews. I get lots of one-star reviews. I get the, the gambit of it all. Um, you can't please everybody. And sometimes you can't please anybody, you know. Uh, some of my Star Trek stuff gets bad reviews. Lots of it gets really good reviews. So, you know, I, I don't know how to please you. I know how to please myself. And that's all I'm doing is I'm trying to please myself. So uh, my advice to you is I would not uh, write an outline because when you start trying to connect those dots, you end up with a lot of uh, lag time, extra crap you don't need just to make those connections. I never have that problem. I can always zip, 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 zip to where I want to go. And since my stories are only like six pages, about nine minutes at the most, I never finish my stories, and I don't want to finish my stories. That's up to you. 
Um, I had one man kind of complain. He said, what's you doing here? You don't, you don't finish these things out. It's like, no, I know I don't. I have no intentions of finishing them out. That's for you, the reader. I'll get you started. I'll get you halfway through it, but you, you finish it. Uh, according to Paramount, we're only allowed 30 minutes anyway for any kind of fan fiction. Um, I'm not hiring actors and putting on a play. It's just me reading my own scripts. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it way under 30 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, that's the most. Because by the time I'm done, my jaw is so sore. <laughs> well, I'm done. And um, I really like doing these. Last time I checked, I had 15 of them done. 15. And an average of four pages each. Uh, that, that's quite a bit of writing. But it's really super easy to come up with ideas. Super. Cause I, I watch the show a lot. I watch it every night of the week. You know, I'm 58 years old. That stuff was uh, 1967. I was three years old when it came out, but I watch it all the time. So I know the characters up and down, inside and out. Now, I'm not a Star Trek nerd. I've had a few people call me on a few things that I was not right about. And honestly, I just don't care that much. You know, uh, I, I don't know the ranks of all the uh, members. Over the years, they go up in rank. My brain is stuck right at 1967, okay? If this guy was an ensign then, he's an ensign always. So I'm basing all my stuff off of the t TV series, not the movies. Even though I, I like Wrath of Khan, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, but my writing advice is this, you know, I took a free writing class in college way back in 1986. I enjoyed the crap out of it because all, I remember they'd come to class and say, you just spend half an hour just writing whatever you want to write. And then I took that to heart and I really, really did. And it really make, cranks up your imagination and your creativity. And that's, and I take that lesson to heart now when I write these things up, because, you know, I'll spend no more than 20 minutes writing, writing up uh, three pages, you know, five, six pages is maybe 20 minutes the most. And then I go back and I edit and I edit and I look for typos. I look for grammar because I don't want you guys to think I'm a total idiot. Um, but I think they're entertaining. I, I think I'm building up a small fan club because since I switched to writing, I, I used to get less than uh, 30 views on my artwork, which sucks because my artwork, I think, is pretty good. But once I started going to this, I'm getting in the, around a thousand views a video. So I know this is where the money's at for me when it comes to YouTube videos. And I'll say this right now, YouTube sucks but it's a great opportunity. It is a great opportunity, but it's very, very difficult to get followers. It's very, um, I'm up to 256 videos. I have 156 followers. I should have 1,560 followers, but I don't. For some reason, I cannot crank this over into followers. I, I, I don't know how, I don't know what to do. I ask you guys on every video, please follow, or I mean, please, please subscribe and you don't. So I'm, most of my uh, viewers are new, first time viewers. So the people watching this right now probably have no idea what I do, but go look at my playlists. I have a Star Trek um, uh, fan fiction playlist. All my videos are on there. All you have to do is click on the first one, go to your big screen TV on your living room and pop them up, up there. You'll see my, my really pretty face on the screen. On, and I go through these you know, one at a time. And I, I think they're creative. I think they're interesting. They're a little, little bizarre sometimes. Especially if you read my checkoff one, it's it's pretty bizarre. But um, I do appreciate um, you being here. Share it, like it, be my be my friend. And if you're a writer, you know, this is fun stuff to do. If you're a painter, go back to my early stuff. You can, I'll teach I'll teach you how to paint. And you could be in a gallery just like me. Thank you.